Uh, Masai Ujiri is the president of former NBA champions, the, the Toronto Raptors. He is a Nigerian and played for the Nigerian national team, the Tigers, during his playing days. Guess what? Masai is looking to help the development of basketball in his native Nigeria and Africa with the donation of basketball courts to schools and communities so as to use the game to create opportunities for young Nigerians. It may be of interest for you to know that uh, Masai has been using basketball as a tool to help young people since 2003 uh, with his basketball camps and clinics throughout Nigeria and other parts of the continent. Celebration and fanfare on the new Giants of Africa basketball court inside the Jeshatedo Grammar School, Okota, Lagos. This is the beginning of a commitment fulfilled by the Giants of Africa led by the president of Toronto Raptors in the American NBA, Masai Ujiri. Maybe this will challenge government, maybe this will challenge the private sector, maybe this will challenge schools, universities uh, to build because we know when you build this, they last for a long time and this is where the kids are going to play. The opening of this community basketball court is the first of four centers in Lagos and five countries including Nigeria, Kenya, Tanzania, Cote d'Ivoire and Burkina Faso to be unveiled over three months in an Africa-wide 100 quartz project. We made a commitment to build 100 quartz around the continent over the years. Uh, we started in East Africa and we've built four in Nigeria. And this is the first one we're commissioning and opening in Ijasha Tado uh, uh, Grammar School. And we're happy to be here with the kids celebrating. Previously without a court, the school is excited to have this new basketball court and hope it will help develop the sport in the school and the community. It's another vista. We are not all just doing the same thing, just football, football, football. They can also be another Maasai and another Akim Olajuwon, changing the narratives of this country. Not just that our boys, our children are just doing all kinds of rubbish, but these ones are going to be representing Nigeria very well. There are actually 18 schools in this complex. So as many of them that are willing, I work out an arrangement that they come and train and then we can have inter-complex competition of basketball. Now that I'm seeing basketball court in my school, I'm very happy, so excited because I've not seen any basketball standard. Even this one is not a basketball court, but it's standard basketball court. So I'm very excited to see like this thing happening in my school. And, so I'm, and I'm, I'm also begging some Nigeria people too that can build other basketball courts like this one in my school that I stand out in any of the school in Nigeria. I'm very very happy and I want to say a big thank you to Giant Africa for remembering my school and this basketball courts project. Over the next three days, Giants of Africa opened new and refurbished basketball courts in Ijeshate Duokota, Owuron Shoki and Ilukbeju. The 18 schools in this complex now have a basketball court that they did not have before. For the youngsters to dream big and hone their skills, courtesy of Masai Ujiri of the Toronto Raptors in the NBA and the Giants of Africa. Solomon Ajiziogu, TVC News, Lagos. All right, uh, thank you, Solomon. Masai Ujiri is live on the program. Masai, glad to have you on Sport Desk today. Thank you for having me. Thanks for having me. <laughs> I, I think Masai deserves a round of applause. I think Masai deserves a round of applause. For that, for that effort. Fantastic initiative. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, your foundation, Giant of Africa, um, uh, wants to produce giants uh, from um, Africa in terms of uh, basketball. You made our commitment to con contribute 100 uh, basketball courts. To what extent has that been achieved? Uh, you know, we started um, a few few months ago, and um, once COVID happened, uh, we couldn't come and do our basketball camps. And so instead of sit there and not be able to travel like everybody else, I called a couple of our construction uh, friends and said, uh, is it possible to build, you know, like during this period? And, and they assured me that it was possible. I have... Uh, Weber construction and he's done unbelievable with the work he does building uprights and 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 rims and then I called um, Joseph at uh, builder in East Africa and we did the same thing too and and they said I said can we build 10 courts in East Africa and West Africa uh, during this period and they told me 
Uh, it was yes, possible. It was possible. And I said, go. We made a commitment. Uh, this is something I've always wanted to do. I come here and make all the noise about challenging people. Hey, we need to be infrastructure. We mm. need this. Mm. We need that. Mm. You know, and it's better we all look at ourselves in the mirror, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah. And challenge mm. ourselves. And it's something I decided to do. And I said, uh, challenge our, our, um, my group. And we we took it on, you know, it's, it's, it's not easy. It costs money. Yeah. Uh, we are, it's, 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 it's difficult with ev all the things you have to manage, but it's doable. And sure. the youth need it, the sure. schools need it, the community need it. All right, some of the courts being unveiled are cited in uh, schools. Uh, secondary schools. Uh, does that underline your belief in school sports? I, I believe in youth and I believe in youth whether they're in community, whether they're in schools, wherever they are. Um, I was a youth like that in this country. Mm -hmm. Same exact thing. We all grew up here. Uh, I grew up in Africa. Sometimes when people see me, they think I'm coming from over <laughs> from there. The US. <laughs> from the U.S. I know, but I grew up here in northern Nigeria. And I think uh, schools are a big part of it because education goes with sports and mm -hmm. sports goes mm -hmm. with education. Mm -hmm. We have to encourage sports yeah. now yeah. because it is a business. Uh, we have the talent. We have to encourage kids and Definitely. youth to play. Yeah. All right. Are these projects fully funded by Giants of Africa? Are there any, um, um, you know, um, involvement by the NBA, FIBA or government? Uh, well, I think it's, a, it's always a combination. I work for the NBA and I have this opportunity through the NBA. So I believe NBA Africa, uh, whether it's the Bar League, it doesn't always have to be monetary support. Yeah, you sure, know, like, yeah. yeah, it's the backing of everybody. Mm. You know, the encouragement, mm. uh, the work the NBA has done too mm. on the continent is, is huge. I, I, we had a Basketball Africa League recently. Mm -hmm. um, I happened to present that on TV here. Mm -hmm. And I um, found out that quite a number of players at that competition came from this Your Giants of Africa initiative. Yes. So there are competitions around this, mm -hmm. uh, development for basketball players. Yes, there's development everywhere. Mm -hmm. And that's why we wanted to create a league uh, on the continent to create business here, to create the, an ecosystem around sports because okay. that's how it is in the yeah, Western world. Done, yeah. yeah, there's kids. You you play and you play basketball. I never played in the NBA. I was never close mm. to being good enough to play. Even yeah. in Europe, I was not even good enough to play in Europe. I hap happily played for Nigeria for yeah. a couple times. Mm. I was lucky, uh, but. Uh, look at where I am now. There are so many smart kids, so many intelligent kids, mm -hmm. so many talented kids that actually can actually use sports as, um, as the opportunity mm -hmm. to go into other fields, the right? Pathway. Yeah, a pathway, sure. a pathway to become sports administrators, doctors, sports lawyers, mm -hmm. sports journalists. There's, there's such a it's, it's a, a huge field. It's a mm -hmm. huge field mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what Giant of Africa is doing is simply building and improving sporting infrastructure. Uh, how well will this translate into talent development? Uh, well, on my team, uh, Toronto Raptors, and now we have Precious Achua. Yeah. Precious Achua played in Giants of Africa five, six years ago. Mm -hmm. What an incredible story. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. it, it's a big circle that came around here. Yeah. And I've always dreamt of that, you know, like it happened naturally, organically. It's not something that we forced. Yeah. They are going to be everywhere. It's not just our program. There are so many other people doing camps, so many people mm. doing things. Mm. I think mm. even building courts, this will now encourage other people to do so. And now we have facilities. Now we'll start to build and kids will start to play competitions with each other, even with other countries. Yeah. We opened four of them in, in, in East Africa. We're going to continue to build. We're going to open two in Burkina Faso mm. when we leave here. Uh, we have to continue to do this for the youth. It's an obligation for me. It's fantastic. Absolutely. We have to say thank you for this because I've always felt like you need to create these platforms for these kids. Mm -hmm. Once these platforms are created, once the basic infrastructure is there, they will fly. Yes. And you never know on one of these your courts we might discover the next big thing in basketball who knows i don't this think I, I don't think it's a maybe i uh, know okay. yes yes i like I, <laughs> I, I, I know that I we like will that. akim olajuwon came from this from country here, yes. so you, you yes. mentioned about pressures who's now with toronto raptors yes, and, here and all that so that's, that's what we need to do and that's what we're doing we have to commend you for that just creating these platforms yes and these kids will thrive yes you can see them dancing you know they are all excited about this uh, and then you and know it takes them off the streets yes it takes them off the streets which is the critical them options yeah you yeah. know options you know uh, if education isn't working basketball can work for I know, you even, yeah. even if you don't become like he said even if you don't become an nba player 
you have a pathway yes. to better your life. You know, yeah. he never played in the NBA. He played for Nigeria, but... But he's the he's president of an NBA club. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. And <laughs> he was an NBA champion as well. <laughs> Before I let you go, Masai, talk us through the experience of winning the NBA championship with the Toronto Raptors. Uh, incredible. I'm telling you, I promise. It's such a hard <laughs> thing to do. It's mm. really, really mm. like... Um, mm. It's very, very hard. You need a lot of... Uh, luck even yeah, yeah things yeah, have to go it, yeah things way. have to just line up stars your way the, the stars have to align in an incredible way this did for us yeah you put in the hard work you have the talent now you have to pray for injuries you have to pray that you know luck goes your way as much as you can uh, but uh, it's an incredible incredible feeling I know we'll get that feeling again. <laughs> we're now build, we're building, we're building, building up. back again, mm. up again, you yeah. know, and it'll take a couple of years for this young team. But uh, I have no doubt that we've tasted it in sports. You play sports to win. Mm. That's it. That's it. Yeah, I heard you guys talking all the boxing here <laughs> and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Green Eagle was playing yesterday. Yeah. Sports is about winning. Yes. We play to compete, mm -hmm. and that's what we're going to do. Play to compete. And, and you're to back win. home now yes. in Toronto, which yes. is a huge factor. Huge. We're playing <laughs> our first game on the 20th. Full fans. We're mm. excited. We're excited to be back. Interesting. Masao Jiri, uh, president of uh, Toronto Raptors, for my NBA champions. He says they will be champions again, and I believe him. Mm. Thank you so much for your time on the show today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank All you. right. Yeah.